Hey guys, back again for What Wednesdays. Jeremy here from School of What Covent Garden, and this week it is indeed a What Wednesday. We're doing a Thai style steamed fish with lemongrass dressing. Now the beauty of any type of steam fish sort of Asian style is that you don't really have to do much to the fish itself. It's already been scaled and gutted. So it's just straight on the plate. I'm gonna make some nice sort of fragrant herbs to go inside and over the top and then a quick sauce to finish it off at the end. Starting with a bit of lemongrass. I'm gonna take a small bit of lemongrass to finely chop and the rest is just gonna be bashed and pop it into the cavity. I don't want too much finely chopped lemongrass because it can be quite woody. And this is just gonna be sitting on top of the fish with my sort of garlic and chili mix. Try and finely chop it up as much as possible, just so when you bite into it, it's not too crunchy. So the rest of the lemongrass can just sort of cut so it's usable size lengths. And that can go in a second into the cavity, along with some galangal. With the galangal, just nice slices. Again, most of that will go into the cavity itself. And take a little bit finely chopped. Some garlic. Finely chopped. Actually this dish is one of my dad's favorites to order whenever we were in Thai restaurants in Hong Kong. And it's just such simple flavors, but once sort of compiled together, really bring out the sweetness of the fish. So I've got some lime leaves coming up next and some lime juice at the very end for that nice sort of sweet, sour, salty flavor. And that's what I love about Thai food is that really great balance of flavors. So garlic, that's all gonna go at the top with that finely chopped lemongrass and galanga. Next up, some red chili. And you could either just slice this for garnish at the end, or we can put it into this sort of rough paste or combination of ingredients. If you're gonna do that, then finally chop it again. This is really bright and colorful. And that just sits into the same mix. Lastly, some lime leaves, kaffir lime leaves, and we get them frozen here. You can get them dry as well, but there's no flavor in the dried ones, so we get them frozen, just thaw them out as fresh. Because I'm gonna use these in this same sort of topping of the fish. I'm just gonna take the stalks out, because they can be quite hard. Just roll those up. And I don't mind sort of really fine matchsticks of lime leaf. Straight into the same mix. And then lastly, for your garnish, your spring onion and coriander. The stalks of the coriander I'm gonna use first to go into the mix, add a bit of fresh crunch to the top of the fish. So fragrant, this whole thing is all about nice, natural flavors and texture. Spring onion, with my spring onion, I wanna get nice lengths out of this because I'm gonna sear this at the very end and I want it to be plentiful. I've got quite a big fish here, so I want plenty of spring onion to be able to cover the whole fish just at the end. 
So we've got most of this ready now. I'm just going to give this garlic, chilli, galangal, lemongrass, lime leaf, coriander, mix. A mix. It looks great, all those colours. Your galangal slices and lemongrass can go into the cavity. And then the rest just goes liberally over the top. You know just from looking at this that this is going to be delicious. That's going to steam. I've got quite a large fish here, so I'm going to put this into our steam oven on full steam. About 15 minutes. If you had a smaller fish, you could just put it on a round plate and then steam it in your wok. The way I do that is just any sort of heat proof bowl or tray and then your plate on top and lid over the top of that. Fill your wok about halfway up with water. Let that steam away. Steaming. Definitely steaming. Full steam, about 15 minutes. I'm gonna make up a quick sauce or dressing. I need a good amount of lime juice for this. And the reason why we put the sauce on at the end is because then you get a, that real sourness, the, the tartness of the lime. It doesn't sort of cook through too much. I don't mind using the same bowl either because you know, it's all the same ingredients. Then we've got some fish sauce, some light soy, both for Saltiness. Of course it's going to be just salty and sour right now, so we need some sugar. Brown sugar works, or palm sugar too. Really let that dissolve into the sauce. And then the last thing we're going to add to this is a bit of sesame oil. That sugar is nicely dissolved now. So the last bit, just a bit of sesame oil. And I'll pour this over the fish once I've seared the spring onion and coriander on top at the end. So the 15 minutes is up. So, easy way to check whether your fish is fully cooked or not is the dorsal fin. So you can just pull that and if it comes out straight away, then it's fully cooked. Last thing you want to do is take a whole load of this coriander and spring onion. The coriander, I just kind of tear it over the top and then spring onion, you can see it's curled up nicely in that cold water. Really generous over the top of that again. I'm going to sear this in a second with some really hot oil. The oil, you need enough to sear and just let that spring onion wilt and I want this to be smoking hot before I pour it over the fish. So you want to make sure it's smoking hot for at least 10 seconds but I am sort of stirring it around gently just so it doesn't set on fire. Carefully over the top of the fish. Great sound and then the last thing you do is you then pour the sauce right over the spring onion. Oh, that is just super fragrant, really fresh, and I can't wait to dig in. If your fish is perfectly cooked, you should just be able to run a spoon down the spine of it and just push with the back of your spoon and it should just fall straight off the bone. I'm going to taste this, a good bit of that sauce, some of that herb and chilli. Wow. That's so, so fresh. The lime just really cuts through the sort of natural sweetness of the fish. Oh, absolutely love it. If you love this type of food, and you want to learn more guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel.